Hey, our friends, they're going to be drawing a mummy. Yeah, we're going to draw a mummy coming out of a sarcophagus or coffin. Mm -hmm. We hope you're going to follow along. It's going to be a lot of fun. You need your drawing supplies. We're going to use a marker, but you could use a pencil or whatever you have at home. You also need some paper and something to color with. Yeah. All right. You're ready to start. Yes. Let's fold our paper first and we're going to take the top edge, line it up with the bottom edge. And when you get it lined up, I think it's easy to easier to fold it down the middle like this and then crease it out to the corners. And we're repeating the same steps that we always do for a folding, folding surprise. Yeah. So if you already know the steps, you can skip forward if you want. We're going to take the top flap, line up the edge with the top again. Like that, down the middle and out to the corners. Now let's flip over our paper and we'll repeat that same step. We're going to take this flap, fold it up to the top, crease it down and out to the edges. Now this last fold is a guide fold. So we're going to open it up and flatten it out. Then we're going to flip our paper back over. Because we're drawing with markers, we're going to use scratch paper underneath our drawing paper. Now, if you're using pencils, you don't need to do this to protect your table. It won't go through the paper. Now we're ready to draw. We have our markers. Let's draw the coffin first or the sarcophagus. We're going to draw a line, a vertical line coming down from here on the left side. We're going to start above the fold and then we're going to draw over the fold and down. And then let's do the same thing over here on the right side. This is where the feet are and this is the head over here on this side. Let's draw the bottom or the part that's laying on the ground. I'm going to draw a little curve and then a bigger curve to connect to the top or the head. Yeah. Now let's come up here and we're going to draw the feet first. So we'll draw a curve coming up and then back down. On this side, let's draw the head. We're going to draw a curve that comes up and then over to the left and then we're going to curve back down. That could be for the chin. And then we're going to draw the body. So the sarcophagus or the Egyptian kind of coffin usually had, uh, it was sculpted like one of the rulers. Yeah. Now let's draw a line separating the lid or the top from the main part of the coffin. So we can draw a line right across the fold. And when you open up the paper, you should see part of it down here at the bottom and part up here at the top. And if you need to, you can go back over it and draw another line a little lower. Next, let's draw the details up here on the top part. We're going to draw the headdress. We're going to draw a line that comes down to the left and then we can curve into the fold. Let's draw an eye and also we could draw a mouth. <laughs> and we could draw the neckline. And let's draw an arm coming down. Usually their arms were crossed, but we could just draw a simple, draw two curves coming up to the chest. And then let's draw a curve for the hand. And sometimes they, I think they were holding scepters or the, you know, their uh, staff. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to draw a line that comes out from the bottom of the hand and also the top of the hand. And anytime if I go too fast or even if we speed up the video, what can our friends do? Pause the video. Yeah, if you need extra time. You can even rewind if you need to go back. All right, let's keep going. Let's add even more details to the sarcophagus. I'm going to add two lines down here. Maybe this is the bottom of the pants or the shoes. And then we can draw lines for the headdress. I'm going to draw vertical lines going this way. Ooh, we could even draw one that's diagonal. And then finish drawing vertical lines. And then let's draw another line or two going this way. Oh, we could even draw a cool, maybe it's got a gem or some kind of decoration on the forehead. And we could add even more details. Let's add more down here on the base. So I'm going to draw 
a line coming down here, or maybe another one above it. And I'm going to add two more vertical lines. Our art friends can follow along exactly what we're doing, but they could also change their drawings and add different details. I'm going to draw more lines going this way, horizontal lines going across. This is going to be a lot of fun to color. And then I'm going to draw maybe diagonal lines going this way. Mm, that's cool. <laughs> And we could draw more vertical lines this way. Oh, I'm going to draw circles. A couple circles this way. Maybe some rectangle shapes, too. You could really go crazy and add a lot of extra details. <laughs> All right, we did it. We finished adding all the decorations and the designs to our sarcophagus. Now you could pause the video and take extra time to add even more details if you want. Let's open up our paper. Now we're ready to draw the inside and our mummy coming out of it. <laughs> Let's start by drawing a line right above the fold right here. And I'm not going to go all the way across and connect to anything. We're just going we'll to leave it floating. This is the edge of the inside. Now let's draw our mummy. We're going to draw it right here in the middle. Let's first draw a mouth. I'm going to draw it open. So we'll draw the top of the mouth first. Then we could draw it coming down. And let's draw a big tongue coming out of our mummy's mouth. Well, it's a really big tongue. <laughs> and then right here, I'm going to connect it, the mouth up to the tongue and then imagine it going behind the tongue and coming up. And then we can color in this top shape above the tongue and also below. Now let's draw the eyes. I'm going to draw a circle on the left side and a circle over here on the right side. And let's also draw a highlight inside of each eye and then color in the big circle, but leave the little circle white. Let's draw the top of our mummy's head. I'm going to draw a big upside down U shape going over the top. And then we can connect the left side over to the right side and we'll draw the chin and also the cheeks. Go back over it just to smooth it out. Nice. Now let's draw the body. We're going to draw a big U shape coming down from the chin, around, and then connect back into the chin. <laughs> I love your mummy so much. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> now let's draw the legs. I'm going to draw one side of the leg coming out, and then bending at the knee, and then connecting to that top edge. And then let's draw the other side of the leg coming out to the knee and then bending down. Now we could do the same thing on the right side or we could just draw it coming down. Maybe this will look like he's stepping out or she's stepping out. I'm going to draw two lines coming down to connect. You could add eyelashes. I know yeah. Hadley would. Yeah, she would. <laughs> now let's draw the arms. Let's draw them bent. We're going to come down diagonal to the left. And then this is the elbow, we'll come back up. And we're going to draw the fingers like this, like he looks like he's reaching out to grab something. We're going to draw the thumb first. So we'll curve up, around, and then back in. Let's repeat that same step for the next finger. We're going to curve out, around, and then back in. Let's do another one. We're going to come out from that second finger, curve around, and then back in. And then we can do one more. I'm going to just draw a little backwards C. That one's overlapping. Let's draw the rest of the arm. We'll start here at the armpit, bend down to the elbow, and then connect into the hand. And we just drew four fingers. Sometimes I like to do that for a cartoon. Yeah. It looks awesome. Let's repeat that same step for the right side. Down, up, and then let's draw the 
thumb going this way. And we can go a little faster since we're just repeating the same steps. So there's the second finger, third finger, and then I'm going to draw a little U shape or a C shape. And then we can come back to the armpit, draw the elbow, and then connect up to the hand or the fingers. <laughs> we did it, except it kind of just looks like an alien. Yeah. What's our mummy missing? The wrap. Yeah, we need to add the lines going across to make it look like a mummy. Let's start up here at the top and draw the first curve. And we're going to draw it coming down like this to make it look more 3D. And then we can draw another one right next to it. Maybe this comes out a little further to the side. Ooh, we could even draw a line going this way. And maybe another one right next to it. Okay, let's draw. Let's come down here and we're going to draw one going right through the eyes. So we're going to skip a little bit and right through the mouth and over to the other side. Then we're going to come back up to here and I'm going to draw a curve that comes down and connects down here. Now let's come down and we'll draw another curve coming across. It connects to the mouth, goes through the eye. Now let's draw some diagonal lines. Maybe the wrap changes and it goes this direction. I'm going to draw another one coming out to the side right here. And let's do, let's do another one right here or two. Yeah, that looks awesome. Okay, let's come down here and add the wrap to the body. I'm going to draw one like this, another one lower. And we could add a diagonal one inside. And then maybe another one coming this way. And you could really change this any way you want. You don't have to try to draw exactly like me. You can add these wrap lines going different directions. Now I'm going to draw, let's draw them going this way to make it look more 3D. I'm going to draw it curving on the arm out to the hand. And then we could leave it like this. Maybe the hand is green. <laughs> I'm going to add more wrap lines coming out this way. So I'm going to go fast because we're just repeating the same step, adding lots of wrap lines. Sometimes when you see a mummy on a cartoon or a movie, they're coming unwrapped. <laughs> but we could draw we could draw part of the wrap coming out from the wrist. So two curves, and then we could draw a zigzag line so it looks like it's torn. And we could also draw, maybe there's part of the wrap coming off of the cheek. And I'm going to draw a zigzag line here too. And maybe one more coming out to the side. This might look like a tail. <laughs> <laughs> and then another zigzag line for the end. Oh, it looks so cool, Jack. Now let's finish the coffin and I think we're ready to color. Right here on the edge, we're going to come up a diagonal line to the right. And on this side, we're going to come up to the left. Then we're going to connect these two lines, but we want to draw the line so it looks like it's behind our mummy. So we're going to imagine that going through behind and coming out the other side. Now let's do the same thing with the edge of the sarcophagus. We're going to draw two diagonal lines on each side that match. And then we'll repeat that line that goes behind the mummy and then comes out to the right. I'm going to make the top of the lid or the side of the lid a little thicker. So two little lines coming down and then a line to connect those together. Jack, we did it. We finished drawing our mummies, except we're not completely done. We still need color it. Yeah, my favorite part. We are going to fast forward, so remember to pause the video and take time to color your drawings. You ready to fast forward? Yes.
Jack, we did it. We finished drawing and coloring our mummy and our sarcophagus. We have it all folded up, but let's show our, our friends the inside. Okay. Three, Three, two, two one. one. <laughs> <laughs> I love how it looks colored in. I hope our, our friends take time to color their drawings too. We also added extra details. Yeah, the treasure that's popping out of the coffin. Now you could add other things like candy or ghosts or maybe even spiders. Yeah, you could add tons of spiders or scorpions or maybe even beetles. That would be scary. We used our biannual markers to color with. The green we used is G503. And what color did we use for the wrap? Y900. Yeah. And then we used our Y107, the yellow for the gold. You could also change the colors any way you want. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing your mummy. Yeah, and we hope you take time to color it and add extra things to the inside. And we'll see you later, art friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.